It is now two months since the start of lockdown here in the UK, and I've never been prouder to be Vice-Chancellor of our university than during this time. This has been a difficult time, but we've all pulled together. So if you're a student continuing your studies remotely, either here at Cranfield or back at home, thank you for your commitment and your understanding. You are our greatest ambassadors. To our staff, whether you're working from home or supporting our students on campus, whether you're furloughed or have continued to work, thank you. You are our greatest strength. In one of my earlier messages, I referred to our university motto, inspired by our origins as an Air Force base. After clouds, light. Over the past two weeks, we've seen the UK government begin to introduce some relaxation of the lockdown measures. And so this week, we set out our indicative timeline to our staff on the phased reopening of activities at our university sites. This return will be gradual and subject at all times to government advice. Our priority will always be your health and your safety. Throughout this global crisis, we have seen the strength of the Cranfield community and I've been delighted to see so many stories of the efforts of our staff and students being shared through our website and our social media channels. Stories such as Amy Helica at Cranfield Defence and Security, who's been making scrubs for the NHS. Our team at C4D, who have been making face mask connectors for Milton Keynes Hospital. And Nena Nakata, an MSc student in Geographical Information Management, who has created a dashboard giving information on the spread of coronavirus in Nigeria. This is now in public use. Thank you for all that you are doing for our university and please continue to look after yourselves, your friends and your families. <laughs>